The auto mapping feature allows you to use parts of sample file names to determine zone information and automatically create zones based on this information. If you have a large number of samples, this can be the difference in whether a deadline is missed or not. In this week's subscriber video, we'll take a look at how you can save time placing zones by mapping samples automatically. And never miss a tutorial by subscribing to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash adsrtoots. Placing zones manually by dragging samples from the browser into the zone grid works well if your instrument doesn't contain a lot of zones, or if your samples are conveniently named in a way that makes it possible to pre-sort them in the browser before you create zones out of them. But what if your samples are named in a way that doesn't sort well? Well, there's no way to get the browser to sort them in a meaningful way. For scenarios like this, the mapping editor includes an auto mapping feature. It consists of a customizable file name scanner that first attempts to determine which parts of your sample file names could contain valuable information, then lets you assign them to zone parameters which these parts could be mapped. Before we use the auto mapping feature, let's talk about preparing file names of your samples. The auto mapping feature selects the file name of the sample in the first zone and breaks it down into parts called tokens. These tokens are the parts of the file name that are separated from each other with non-alphanumeric characters such as spaces, minus signs, or underscores. The first six tokens are selected from the file name from right to left. This means that for auto mapping to be successful, all the file names need to have the same format. So for example, the file name violin-f-c1-dsharp1.wave would be broken up into D sharp one, C one, F, and violin. Let's look at another example. The file name harp underscore C zero underscore zero one underscore thirty underscore C zero underscore B zero underscore harp dry would be broken up into harp dry. B0, C0, 30, 0, 01, C0, and harp. And because we have more than six tokens here, the last one, harp, would not be used. These tokens can be used for various zone parameters and the group name. For each token, you can choose from the following. Ignore me, the token is ignored and unused, make root key, the token will be used as a root key, set to single key. The token will be used to set a zone range to a single key. You should either have a token for a single key or two tokens for low and high key. Make low key. The token will be used to set the low end of the key range. Make high key. The token will be used to set the high end of the key range. Make min velocity. The token will be used to set the minimum velocity of the zone make max velocity the token will be set to the token will be used to set the maximum velocity of the zone make group name the token will be used to set the name of the group so let's take a look at some examples and see how the tokens break down so if we're going with our harp sample here the auto mapping feature will find the tokens harp drive b0 c0 30 01 c0 and harp as I said before, harp wouldn't be used because we already have six tokens. You can then use these tokens for group name. Harp drive makes sense for group name. B0 for the high key. C0 for the low key. 30 for the max velocity. 01 for the min velocity. And C0 for the root key. Also, if your samples contain root key information, you can get the root key from that instead of from the file name. So to use the auto mapping feature, you'll have to create zones out of your samples first by dragging them into the mapping editor. In this example, we'll use file names that contain group name, low high key range, min max velocity, and root key.
At this point, we don't care about the file name, but if your file name doesn't contain the key range info, you'll want to place the samples at the proper key range. If your samples do have key range info, then it doesn't matter where you place your samples. They'll be moved to the proper key range by the auto mapping feature. Next, mark all the zones in the mapping editor you want the auto mapping feature to act on. You can select multiple zones by holding the shift key while clicking on them or by clicking on the grid background and dragging the mouse to open a rubber band selection frame. If these are the only samples in the zone grid, you can also use Control A. When all the zones you want to process are selected, open the Edit drop-down menu at the top of the mapping editor and choose Auto Map Setup. A dialog window will appear, which displays the result of the file name scanning process. At the top of this dialog, you can see which file name has been used to determine the tokens. In this case, it was the first file, which was the first zone. Below the file name is displayed again, this time split up into its determined tokens with a drop down menu below each of them. These menus allow you to specify for each token whether it shall be ignored or used to derive any zone information or the group name. So we'll set group name, the high key range, the low key range, the max velocity, the min velocity, and the root key. And if these samples had root key information embedded in the file, we would check read root key from the sample metadata if possible. In these examples, um, we don't have that. The key range is coming from the file name. So click the apply button, then click close. Now select all of the zones and choose auto map selected from the edit menu or use the keyboard shortcut command Control T or Command T. There we go. Contact will now automatically arrange and place the zones according to the information it got from the file name of the samples. If anything goes wrong, you can use the undo button in the rack header to revert the process and revisit the auto map setup dialog. So I'll just hit undo. I'm going to use control A to select all of the zones and then use control T to auto map selected. Voila. Now let's try again with another set of samples that have a single key token. Drag the samples onto the mapping editor. Select all the samples and select Edit Auto Map Setup. Set tokens to group name. Single key. root key and ignore. Hit apply then close. Now select the samples again and hit control T. Contact automatically arranged and places zones on individual keys. So now I'll show you the group editor. As you can see, groups were made based on the names that were derived from the file names in the samples. So not only can this feature set up your zones, your velocities, your key range, 
but it can also create groups for you. This can be a real time saver. The auto mapping feature is extremely powerful and easy to use, but it's one of those things that require prep work and discipline. But the prep work of properly naming your files can save you hours creating zones and groups. And if you're savvy enough, you can use a tool such as Automator on Mac or Better File Rename on Windows to even automate the process of renaming your samples. And don't forget to check out our website, www.contacttutorials.com, for more contact tutorials and sounds. ADSR contact tutorials supercharge your contact skills. This is DJ Nice signing off until next time. Now go make some music. <laughs>